All right, so I want to talk about behavioral patterns and things of that nature because, you know, a lot of things can play out as a behavioral pattern, but sometimes we may fail to track down the source of that behavioral pattern, which is usually just some form of static energy that we get into that really became, becomes solidified into, let's say, our left brain perspective, our objectivity, how we go about things based on how we feel about things. And really, sometimes our feelings can just be based on certain, uh, you know, insecurities, not being able to get certain validations in some area, or just, uh, you know, based on having some traumas in some areas. So you go extreme to getting one thing, but it's really based on the lack of another thing. Because whenever you don't do things out of a sense of balance, out of a sense of equilibrium, that lets you know that, hey, you might have something missing because now you're going super hard to get something while really we should be going uh, for, for things in the sense of balance, you know what I'm saying? But the culture we in right now, as far as, you know, the entertainment, the politics, you know, all these different things make us go for things in an extreme polarized way. This is why they make up words like psychopath, narcissistic, and all these things. And even these things is not even bad, believe it or not, because the people that run this world, let's say like Masons and all them, them niggas, they extreme ass narcissistic too. So in my opinion, once you get to a certain level, yeah, your ego gotta be fucking big to a certain level. But if you just little a little pup, a little pup, a little doggy, and you ain't doing nothing, then it's like, what, what the fuck are you so egotistical about, bro? You what the fuck are you so entitled about? You know what I'm saying? It don't even make no goddamn sense. So, but at the end of the day, you gotta come from everything still from a sense of equilibrium. Yeah, you might, you know, you might. Your, let's say your dad, for example, might own the car company and might bring in millions of dollars and that might make you feel and think entitled like you deserve something. But what port did you, what work did you put in other than come at your mama's ass? Pretty much nothing, right? So we got to be able to track down these behavioral patterns and things like that because we got to understand that this shit put a stench on our spirit and make our soul kind of look ugly whenever we walking around because we going extreme about something. You, you might be going extreme up, extreme optimism. You know, I like to be optimistic all the goddamn time, but it's really true though, slowly and surely, you start to see like, damn, I don't really have to share that or express that uh, with everybody. That, that's something that's not, I, could just be, I could just be optimistic and excited about my purpose in life and things like that, but I don't necessarily gotta step into the world with that energy, right? Same thing with being ex too extremely down, too extremely depressed. Like you're always sad all the time. Your head always down. You're always looking down. Uh, you, you know, you, you never look at people in the fucking eyes. You know, like look niggas in the goddamn eyes. Be balanced in your life. Don't look, don't look away. Don't look, away. no, don't, don't, don't do none of that. Same thing. Don't be too righteous. Now, don't be like our Middle Eastern brothers over there. Don't be too righteous about shit. That you know, you right about everything. And like, yeah, you know, what I'm saying this is this is what's right, and everybody got to do this because. This is what's right, you know what I'm saying? Because no, 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 no spirit like to be forcefully submitted into something without, uh, you know, without them like looking into it and things like that. Because people like to leave situations when they want to, and if they can't leave a situation, it's gonna create some kind of like extra stress on their mind and shit like that. Like, ah, oh, now the, but it, it's kind of crazy because the, this is the world we in. The world literally polarizes you in some type of way, shape, or form because you have. You have, you know, you're experiencing life from all these different ways. Let's say when it comes to the housing system, especially, you're experiencing your life from your environment. You have a family circumstance. You know, you have a way which you are, you can communicate with your environment. You have a way which how you go about, you know, you know your personality, your personal interests and things like that. Uh, what you're personally into and all that. You have a personal way of getting your uh, broad philosophical point of views and things like that. But that's not for the sake of, uh, you know, being a separate unit and being like a separate soldier and thinking you can go about solo about everything, uh, you know, there's limits to doing things alone as well. Because one person can only keep their eyes on so many things. One person can only do so many tasks. You know what I'm saying? So at some point it's like, so at some point it's like, you know, you need a group of people. You need a team of people. So yeah, but it's all about building with individuals that are actually on that spiritual level of awareness and are not in it just for some click, click, ching, ching money. You know what I'm saying? It's more about the purpose. It's more about the spirituality behind it. It's not a, some, because some people will come up with some reasons in their head about how everything is about money. And if there's no money in this, then that, this means that this is not spiritual or some shit like that. So, yeah, it's more about the purpose in life. You know, everything you do is more about the purpose. Because the purpose, the purpose is what's going to keep everything 
balanced as far as your relationships, you know, as far as, you know, how you manage your money, you know, as far as um, um, how you how you distribute how you distribute your, th your thoughts and feelings and turn them into a product, service, and information so you can be of benefit to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about the outer world and getting these outer things. We gotta understand that the outer things was just a product of the invisible things, the things inside of us. So when you create things like a religion, look, and this, this shit got people polarized. Religion got motherfuckers polarized uh, to the point where, like, motherfuckers is like, oh, yeah, if I don't go pray to Jesus today, I gotta feel down. I gotta feel depressed. Oh, the Lord, the devil's gonna come for me. I was it in the house of God today? Does that means I'm not spiritually protected? Oh, just the just the fact that you thinking that that opened up a spiritual target for you to be fucking attacked by a thought form uh, or, or or feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because you creating, you regurgitating some shit, and that that's that's programming some shit in the ether, and, that's, and you're opening up a gate, you're opening up a portal. With what the fuck you saying? So everything in this world literally is some form of contraption that's designed to make motherfuckers polarized in some goddamn way. So this should be this should be silly. This should be stupid at some at times and things like that. So you we gotta look at how not only do our behaviors get influenced by external factors as far as you know, following the sheep mind and modifying ourselves so we can fit into a narrative that's played outside of us because that's what most people do. Not only you got to watch out for that now, you also got to watch out for your own fucking programming because God knows you ain't fucking perfect. God knows that I ain't fucking perfect. So we all got certain traits, certain things that we do that we go out of line in that get us involved in some extra shit that we don't necessarily need to be involved in that get us lost and not on a, and not have us on a battle scale, not have us on an equilibrium and things like that. And a lot of these things that we've developed from lifetimes and we bring into this lifetime and we don't know how to deal with it because to us it just seemed normal. It just seemed like this is the thing to do. But you need to know you're playing out a relative position. You're playing you're playing out you're literally a walking day of a year. So you're literally a walking degree. You got a few degrees so, you know, saying depending on where your planet's was and how they you know align and things like that and all those and all those things in your life path number and all that so you know it's so funny man because you know <laughs> i had this girl tell me yesterday yeah my you know, my dad told me uh if i'm too smart if i'm too intellectual i would never get married and i told her yeah you, your dad he your daddy fucking right you know you know why because uh what's it called man this don't necessarily want to date a woman that's smarter than them a woman that's easily uh led and told what to do you know, it's much more, you know, you sit there, are argumentative, tell me about what you think and shit like that. Okay, bitch, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to listen to you and shit like that. Well, she was a life path seven, so she had to do with intelligence and things like that, structure, Saturn and things like that. So it's very, I found it very interesting, right? So we all are having to play out this relative position, you know. We all want to be who we are to the fullest to our core, but we have to be able to also understand that the things of the world may not allow us to do that based on just lack of compatibility and lack of understanding of, you know, on the shadow government, they already know this, but they just do this to polarize motherfuckers even more and shit like that. They, they get lost in like all types of like uh, gender wars, gender races and shit like that. Like the main idea of Islam and Christianity is a, a bitch got to sit back at the back of the church and she can't say shit because she's a dumb bitch. Supposedly that's the idea. So they get, they get females polarized because some females have some masculine attributes and characteristics that they can express as a form of being a leader and shit like that. And I personally believe um, men will probably get behind a woman way faster than they would get behind another man, like either, like, like a queen or some shit like that. But that don't even matter because people play out like physical things. It's about the mental forms that you play out because really it's the mental forms that people crave. But... The physical versions, the physical condensed versions just play out as like, you know, the idol for that virtual principle. But it's really a men but it's really like a mental a mental thing. If you a man and you can you can do some of that feminine energy, then you might even have up some other men attracted to you and shit like that. But it's like weird. You know, because the motherfuckers be confused in the fucking head. They start to start developing some next thoughts, developing some nice ideas. So real shit. So you, we got to look at our own behavior and we got to look at the society and the world that you're in. Because based on whatever geographical location uh, you in, thankfully now we have the internet. So that's, uh, that adds another layer, layer of dimensionality of experience on this earth, right? Because if it was just 
your relative position, let's say you was from England, or let's say you was from, you know, Canada or America or the Middle East and shit like that, based on whatever relative position you was born into, plus on top of that, your mental relative position, your birth chart and shit like that, you might just experience some type of like uh, fuckery, you know what I'm saying? Because you not you might not be able to find yourself expressing yourself based on someone else's idea of what is good and evil, and you think that idea of what is good and evil apply to you, but it really don't apply to you whatsoever. Because good and evil is nothing. A bitch, listen, I create fucking good and evil. It ain't it ain't in no mother beep outside me that create good and evil. I create fucking good and evil. Not this fucking God in the Bible. I bitch, I create good and evil. You're like, oh, okay, okay, God, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. Oh, oh you're a bigger per. Oh. No, look, it's a it's another Jewish person reading that book, right? It's another Jewish person that made that book, just sat back and observed a bunch of shit and came to the conclusion that, hey, look, bitch, I'm God on earth. I don't give a fuck. So why can't you give a fuck? But the, the the point of this whole video is that the, the reason why we can't get there is because of this weak-ass behavioral pattern that we plan, that we get stuck in, that we think is the overall, right? Like a narcissist or a psychopath or, or a glutton would think that's, yeah, that's all there is to the world to experience. Bitch, that ain't, that ain't what the fuck is, it, that, that is all in the world to experience. Are you fucking dumb? A glutton will tell you, oh, yeah, ain't nothing better than the world and... New York, New York pizza and cheese fries, bitch. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. That's not. That's not. That ain't it. There's a billions, billions of thoughts and feelings out here that are yet to be experienced. That that you know what I'm saying that you can go into as, as, as a spirit and create a form in that area and actually experience something new that you probably would like way better than the shit that you was doing. The shit that you do now, because ain't no way you doing a behavioral pattern and you ain't getting tired of that shit. Unless you're just stuck in that shit and don't see no other shit. But eventually you're going to get tired of that behavioral pattern. You know what I'm saying? Eventually you're going to get tired of that goddamn going to that goddamn pizza store down the corner. Eventually you're going to get tired of, you know, uh, doing these fucking human things. These human exercise weights. These lifting up, lifting these human mental forms and shit like that. Eventually you're going to get tired of that fucking shit. So what's my advice today? My advice is analyze your behavioral pattern. Be honest with yourself, man. Be critical, you know. No one's gonna be critical outside of you. Like you, like we in America right now, we in Canada right now. We, we, this is the most softest nation, most softest country I have seen in the fucking world. In the military right now, you can't eat, eat. bruh. I mean, they, they, I heard they have like, uh, what's it called? What's it called, man? Basically, it was like a card. If your general is yelling at you too much, you can have like a timeout or some shit like that. And they got this room supposedly now at every base or every institution where you can go and you can have a timeout. Like you're some kindergarten kid. Man, you in the fucking military. You're supposed to protect this fucking country. And you niggas in charge is letting niggas do that type of shit. That lets you know that it's more, it's not about the military. It's about mi military, militarily policing you into being a bitch ass nigga. That's, that's, all, that's, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. They just... They just putting niggas in mental institutions slowly and surely, and ensuring that you're, ensuring that people need a specific type of care. You know what I'm saying? Like they give you this problem, and they give you this antidote for that problem, and then they develop to a bigger problem, and they offer you another antidote. So, real fucking shit. So be very critical of your own behavioral pattern. Don't run away from that shit. Cause look, I mean, you're in your you created this soul, so you gotta take responsibility. Why is motherfuckers on earth? It's because motherfuckers on earth can't take responsibility for the shit that they be creating with their fucking mind. And th these thought forms, they be creating all types of shit, all types of body languages, all types of like ways of communicating with people that you don't necessarily mean to communicate sometimes, but based on whatever you are rooted inside of, you just think that that's what you're supposed to do. You don't see that you is just a finite possibility looking out at the infinite and there's so much more for you to be and do, but you, we gotta get outside of this goddamn rooted behavioral pattern. Real fucking shit. That's all I have to say.